do you think you're gonna make any murals? Like, what are people saying about that? Well, I know I'm the best. There's no contest, no competition. Um, everybody's saying, you know, you're not gonna make it because you're too dumb. You know, I know I'm not the smartest guy in the world. I'm not a genius. A genius is like somebody like, you know, Norman Einstein. I don't know. So, can you tell us what you think about Nathan's comeback as a... a Marie! For Christ's sakes, we're filming here! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, can you tell us what you think about Nathan's comeback as a football superstar? You know, I heard about this and I was ecstatic. Because I think where we left off, Nathan still had a lot of potential. You know, he got his first girlfriend. He got 12 tackles. Are you kidding me? Huh? He was 100 pounds then. I'm hoping with this comeback that we can finish the job I started. I love the kid, but he's got a lot of work. So there couldn't just be one thing he needs to work on. You know, I might start with teaching the kid how to tie his shoes. I mean, he's uncoordinated as hell. So I think we'll do some uh, somewhat out there training techniques, like a hopscotch regimen, probably just to get him nimble on his toes. People think that's girly, but it's not. It's not, trust me. He used to do it in the neighborhood all the time on Southside. That's how I got so good. Well, football is my second favorite F word. Next to the f <laughs> I miss hitting people, man. I miss giving out concussions. Um, I'm a mean person. I'm a mean player, you know? Uh, I need to channel this energy somewhere, you know? If my grandma, she was on the field, I'd run her ass over. That's how mean I am. Nathan's best moves was he would go right for the knees and just take a hunk out of the calf. So we, we put like a custom face mask so he could get his little chompers through there and he would bite people right on the calf, take them down. I want to get Nathan up to 150 pounds. I want him to get to be able to throw the football more than 12 yards. So I, I think there's a lot of room to grow here and I'm ecstatic to be a part of this. So what was home life like in the Bagby house? Pretty decent, you know, middle class I'd say. I uh, was born in the same bathtub that I was conceived in. It's a fun fact about me. Trailer park with my mom, couple of stepdads, a lot of cousins. Me and my brother and my sister, we all slept in the same bed. Had some fun times there. But, uh, man, other than that, it was a pretty good life. Nathan Bagby, uh, let's see. So when I dropped out of junior college, Two semesters in, uh, I came back to the old alma mater and uh, I started coaching. Bagby weighed about 84 pounds at age 16. So, you know, I kind of felt for the guy. I took him under my wing, you know. I got his 40 down to seven seconds. I got him up to 100 pounds. And he, he was a pretty good special teams player by that time. Just a few days left. It's a big day. What was your like scheduled regimen for Nathan's training? Nathan, I had Nathan on a very strict fucking regimen, all right? I wake him up about 6.30, crack of dawn, whatever time the sun rose, I was in Nathan's back door up his ass saying, Nathan, get the fuck out. So I taught him off with about like, I wanted to get him lean, so I gave him like eight cups of coffee in the morning. And I wanted to get him big too though, you know, lean and big, you know, that's ideal. So eight cups of coffee, take a jar of peanut butter, put it in the microwave until it's liquid. I say, Nathan, chug this shit. Let me chug that shit. After that, around 2 p.m., nothing, no water, never water, cottage cheese, about two pounds of cottage cheese for lunch, late lunch. Then we'd have a dinner, which was usually a pitcher of coffee, cold brew coffee. I'd let him have two cigarettes of my own, you know, he's always up my ass about it. And then I'd give him like a sandwich, like white bread, ketchup, white bread. Keep him lean and big. What kind of a person was Nathan Bagby in high school? Was he popular with the girls? Uh, if I remember correctly, so Nathan Bagby, he got himself a girlfriend, yeah. So we beeped him up, he got himself a girlfriend, and he had a friend named Trey. 
Trey was a quarterback, all state, hell of a fucking guy. Much better of a guy than Nathan. Nathan's a good guy, but anyways, Trey was uh, Nathan's best friend. And Trey, as I remember he worded, he did, he did Nathan a favor, and he took it, Nathan's girlfriend's virginity for him. So, ladies, man, I don't know if that answers your question, but uh, he had a girlfriend. I don't, I don't know if they ever did the deed, but his best friend did. So you played football at Baggy in high school? Yeah, I played with him in high school. He's a real fucking asshole. But uh, speaking of that, I actually did see him fit an entire cucumber up his asshole one time in the locker room. But other than that, I don't really have anything good to say about him. So, Well, at one point, uh, I think me and most of the team had gotten chlamydia from his girlfriend. Um, and that really fucked with team morale, especially going into state. So, again, he kind of dropped the ball on that one. I don't know, it's his fault. Do you think he has what it takes to be an intramural superstar? Bluegrass Community Technical College? Um, again, superstars, I don't think that word will ever be associated with Nathan. But I think he could make the team. And, and that's, I think, without me, he couldn't. You know, yeah. but I'm gonna get him on that team. What kind of a person does it take to make a team like that? <sighs> it takes tenacity. It takes hustle. You know, you got to cut back on some things that you might have previously loved. You know, when I was trying to make the team at community college, I cut back to like half a pack a day. I was drinking only like five nights a week. You know, it's tough. It's sacrifice. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't bang broads every night. Right. You got to go to sleep before 3 a.m. Yeah, I've been I've been dating Nathan for about like three months. He's got big muscles. He's just a football guy, you know. I just like the football guys, you know. December twenty first. Today's the day. Intramural tryouts, and I'm gonna fucking nail it. Woo! So tryouts were a real pain in the ass. They cut me within the first 20 minutes when they realized I couldn't catch, pass, or do anything coordinated whatsoever. But you know what? These triceps, these biceps, and these glutes, they don't need coordination. That's why I've officially decided to start bodybuilding today. So thank you all for following my journey. Bag me out.